Are all nerds as good as you? Yes. That's unacceptable. You will go above and beyond your job and get 100 compliments from customers that go unacknowledged. But let one review come back anything less than 5 stars. And you're never going to hear the end of it. They'll give you these half ass compliments and even getting commended by them is like pulling teeth. They'll congratulate and acknowledge one person one person only your entire time there and think they're good the rest of their life. It's like they're about to have a stroke just for being nice. Just for them to say please and thank you is like, eh, thank you. Thank you. My heart. Hey team, I got extra cream in my coffee. <laughs> YOLO. This is that one boss that tries to stay hip with the latest trends and lingo. They might even try to dress the part, but in reality it's more like your parents trying to sound cool in front of your friends. Everything they try to say sounds forced. Team, we just beat our first quarter goals. So what do you kids say today? <laughs> It's lit. I am the one, the one. And it gets really weird when they're trying to be your friend. I feel like they always button the employees' conversations and then they try to say something cool, but when they do, there's this long, awkward silence and they're the only ones laughing like, ha, <laughs> that's a knee slap, right? <laughs> <laughs> The ninja boss is always on the phone all day or never there when you need them. It seems like they're avoiding you and all their responsibilities. They be gone so long you forget that they're an employee, let alone your boss. You be about to call security on them for trespassing because you don't know who they are. This be the first boss to say let's keep an open line of communication but avoids all your messages, questions, and emails. You gotta ambush them just to get a response that has nothing to do with what you asked before they go back into hiding. The worst is when you gotta deal with a customer and the situation's out of your hands so you gotta get someone higher up to help you out. So your next move is to go get the boss and they'll be like all four elements could stop them but when the world needed him most he vanished oh you want the day off next saturday well it would be a shame if i schedules you for those of you who don't have a nine to five and have a random schedule all week this is all too common this is the boss who forgets to write stuff down when it comes to time off they're low-key liars too they'll look you dead in the eye and say yeah i wrote it down in the schedule you're good you'll tell them the day of your marriage months in advance and then remind them throughout that time they'll straight up call you during your vows like well uh you're gonna have to have someone come in for you and it's not like this is a one-time occasion this is an ongoing thing you requested off the whole weekend for coachella now you found out you gotta work so now you have no choice but to turn your job into a Black Mirror episode for season five. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is the job you and everyone else is trying to figure out how they got in their position. They're completely oblivious to what's going on. It can be a simple task and they act like they're trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. This boss is the equivalent of a person in a school group discussion and all they say is I agree and think they're getting participation points. These bosses are some of the lowest rated when it comes to employees reviewing them. They definitely lie somewhere during the interview process. Oh, you actually know how to do your job? Let me show you how it's done. This is the over-the-shoulder boss. They stressing you out like, <laughs> you got hired for a specific job. You may find even more efficient ways to do that specific job, but that's not good enough for the micromanager. This is the know-it-all boss and they're very arrogant about it. This is what separates leaders from the bosses. If they're in a relationship, they're definitely the controlling type. You're basically going to work for Kathy Bates and Misery. You just work very hard on the project, but here comes the micromanager about to take over like, trust me, God's sake. It's for the best. Damn, girl, you looking like a biscuit sopped up in some butter. Why don't you step into my office? This boss is like the creepy coworker, but this one tries to use their authority when it comes to being creepy. This boss probably has a black leather couch in his office with hidden cams all over like, bruh. This makes you uncomfortable as hell and all the other coworkers talk about it, but no one really steps up. Their presence is basically like when you turn off the lights downstairs and run up really fast because you think a monster's chasing you. You gotta go to work dressed up as Bubble Boy just to get some boundaries. Them just breathing in your vicinity is sexual harassment. And tell me you don't hear about this boss always getting fired after you're long gone because somebody was tired of their shit and hit them like, I can go 0 to 100 <laughs> real quick. This is the boss. When things are good, they're pretty cool. But when shit hits the fan, their alter ego comes out and they become the Hulk and there's no stopping their rampage. So now that you know they're like this, you gotta be fake nice to them just in case another onslaught ensues. Because this boss is everything a leader isn't when they're mad. You'll be having a good day. Nothing can stop your good vibes. And all of a sudden they're triggered like, all right, is this what we're doing? <laughs> well, just, let, just letting you know now, I warned you. Well, according to page three, article five, section B states, this is quite possibly the worst boss to work with. They only have one friend at work, and of course it's the kiss 
a co-worker. Before your shift, you gotta check just to see if their car's there, cause this could make or break your day. They're literally a walking handbook. They don't bend or break the rules, and to do so is basically breaking the law. Oh, you showed up later and want to leave early? Mm, not on Father Time's watch. They take what little fun your job already has and makes it even more monotonous. You will develop a spidey sense for when your boss is coming near. And before the boss comes, you're gonna warn all your co-workers like the White Walkers approaching because you need to build a defense for the wall. They take their job way too seriously and will even hit you up after hours for tasks. And these be the fakest bosses at interviews. Now don't get it twisted, homeboy. We're not all working no play. We like to have fun too, you know what I mean? <laughs> you were switching up? <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>